from the Lakeside Newsroom of the Henrico Citizen, your hometown news source since 2001. This is the Henrico News Minute with publisher Tom Lapis. Henrico schools officials plan to monitor students' online behavior and an artificial intelligence company expands into a new Henrico location. We'll tell you about it in today's Henrico News Minute. It's Thursday, July 21st, 2022, and it's brought to you today by the law firm of Barnes & Deal. And now for the news. Henrico County Public Schools officials plan to request increased police presence in schools and $5 million for security camera upgrades from the Henrico Board of Supervisors in the coming weeks. And they also intend to implement software that will monitor students' online activity. That was the announcement from Henrico Superintendent Amy Cashwell earlier this month when she visited the Board of Supervisors during a work session. The new software will scan students' web searches on school-issued computers and send weekly emails to parents with information about students' online activities. The software program was recently piloted at several schools in the county and is meant to search for evidence of potential self-harm or harm to others, according to Cashwell. Henrico Police Chief Eric English said social media threats of violence within schools have become increasingly common and the software would seek to identify and flag that sort of online behavior. There are some questions about whether that would be an invasion of student privacy. We've got much more on this topic. You can read our article right now on HenricoCitizen.com by clicking News and then Education. Information technology firm Empower AI celebrated the opening of its new office space On Park Central Drive in northern Henrico yesterday, Governor Glenn Youngkin was part of the festivities. The company was formerly known as NCI. Its focus is to leverage artificial intelligence and automation technology to help government entities improve productivity and health, defense, and civilian issues. We were there. You can read our coverage of yesterday's event right now on our website, HenricoCitizen.com. The Virginia ABC has recently announced the addition of 31 new products to its stores. They include a blended Japanese whiskey, a double cask from India's Rampur Distillery, and gunpowder Irish gin, among many others. Well, when Henrico County added three officials to the governing board of the Greater Richmond Transit Company in April, it marked a new era in Central Virginia's increasing coordination towards a more functional regional public transportation system. But the addition of three men, two white and one black, from the county has also made the GRTC's board even less representative of the riders that it serves, who skew female, black, and urban. Our partners at Virginia Mercury have taken an in-depth look at this topic. You can read that report right now on HenricoCitizen.com. The Richmond and Henrico Health Districts have begun to vaccinate certain people who may be at higher risk of monkeypox exposure. That's as of Wednesday. The agency received about 160 monkeypox vaccines July 19th. It'll be vaccinating people at higher risk who have not yet had contact with a known positive case. Anyone interested in the vaccine may complete an interest form at rhhd.gov backslash monkeypox vax or by calling 205-3501. Today's Henrico News Minute has been brought to you by Barnes & Deal. Barnes & Deal has emerged as a highly respected family law firm over the past three decades with the resources, skills, and experience necessary to handle high-asset divorces and other complex family law matters across Virginia. To learn more, visit BarnesFamilyLaw.com, that's B-A-R-N-E-S, or call 796-1000.